All right, so I think what we're looking at is the sequela of a skull fracture with the uh, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, thin dura mater, and this is the way you healed. So just looking through here, the first thing you see is this extra large vein coming out of here. This collateral is about the size of a jugular. And there's, there's the hole in the head. So the title of this video is going to be an extra hole in the head. So the, there, this is a, it started off as a mastoid emissary vein, super small vein, hardly even able to be detected. And from your, your trauma, it turned into this big vein coming out of here. So what do we have? We have styloid in front that's elongated coming down uh, and trapping the front of the jugular vein there. We have the atlas, atlas digging into it. On the other side, we also have the atlas digging into it. And we have the styloid coming down and entrapping it pretty quickly. Um, so because of the, the Ehlers-Danlos and your reaction to uh, auto accidents and whiplashes and, and injuries, uh, the ligamentous integrity is such that your atlas is able to go too far forward, driving into the jugulars and, and trapping them, causing a venous backflow. So that's kind of what started the thing. And now we believe you have a CSF leak because of it. Uh, let's get this up here. A couple of things. When you turn your head to the left, we know you get worse. Well, when you turn your head to the left, this massive collateral kinks here. So this is left rotation. There it is in the neutral, so it's more open. Uh, we had you uh, do the CT scan with your jaw jutting forward. And when we did that, we found this plexus of veins open up. So it's, it seems as though you could be having a CSF leak and leaking out of the same location that we have the venous, um, the emissary vein leaking. So. I did, and I'll show you the slices where, where you can see through the spinal, the skull fracture, the old skull fracture, the way it healed. It looks like there's you end up having a um, this plexus here and this extra vein here, and we, we want somebody to rule out a CSF leak going through the same thing. So we do know that ectopic arachnoid granulations can cause CSF leaks. So it, it would make sense that this, uh, this old fracture in here, the way it healed, needs to be ruled out and and let's uh, keep moving. So here we have left head rotation. The atlas goes way too far to the right. It tucks up in there. When you turn your head to the right, it actually kind of levels out and doesn't seem to go ridiculously too far. Uh, here we are. I, this is one of the slices that I removed. You can see like the, what it looks like. Maybe the, it's a, is it an old fracture? Is it where the emissary vein um, kind of got larger? Uh, that's open for debate. But either way, it is coming out through right behind the jaw, which is one of your main places of symptom symptomatics that you're symptomatic. Uh, this is the vein, this this collateral vein that we see, um, and we actually got a video of this thing throbbing and moving. The whole it moves quite a bit through there. Uh, there's another shot, another shot of that. Uh, this is the arterial phase and the venous phase. This is just timing. You can see how, how the, the veins are filling up and in what order. So really, the fastest thing that fills up quicker than anything is this uh, emissary vein that is now dominant. Um, and then here you can see it in a later stage. Uh, this is a good venous shot of all, all the veins backed up in through there. Congestion, congestion. All right, so this is a line we drew through the atlas. You can see how high it is up to the right. And there I brought the skin on so you can see how far the atlas tilts up to the right. So we were expecting uh, the atlas adjustment to make a big change there. Uh, but again, we have CSF leak. We have venous congestion. There's the hole. This is inside the cranial vault. I, I traced it. Uh, you can see where the, the bone is eroded through there from pressure. Uh, Here's another shot of it. Uh, a couple other uh, places of interest where the bone is not so uh, thick. 
Uh, here we have left head rotation where the atlas is really, or I'm sorry, the skull is really rocking out from the atlas. You can see how the, the skull is making contact with the odontoid process and the atlas right in there. So we do have hypermobility. So the thing with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is that the proprioceptive there, feedback is not there and you can move and stretch in a certain direction and uh, facilitate uh, the ligaments not healing, your basic exaggerated, exaggerated movements. Uh, so we're going to have you wear a collar. We want you to uh, not move your neck so much because we don't trust your proprioceptive feedback. Uh, there's another shot of that. Uh, we do have a very dominant left vertebral artery in there, and that does kind of play out. We'll show that uh, when it comes to your um, brainstem. Uh, this is obviously an alignment. We're getting the foramen magnum lined up there, and then we're, we got an, an alignment picture for the ec, ec atlas. Uh, another shot of the atlas. Now this is also very interesting that the C2 spinous is malformed so it can be very misleading on x-ray and make us think that the atlas, the atlas I'm sorry, the axis is rotated and it's not. All right, so these are some measurements we took of the MRI. Now, uh, finding CSF leaks are very difficult to find. A lot of times people will do blood, blind blood patches uh, even without finding them and People do great. I mean, it's it's just one of those things that we don't have a uh, have it really nailed down. Um, the this measurement here, if this measurement, okay, I'm sorry, this measurement right here, if this measurement here is less than 6.5 millimeter, you are three times more likely to find a CSF leak uh, somewhere in the system, according to Stanford. Uh, this is Ian Carroll's work. Uh, if the distance between the the uh, clivus in the pons is less than five millimeters. You are uh, four times more likely to have a CSF leak. If the distance between the optic chiasm and the pituitary is less than four millimeters, you are 32 times more likely to have a CSF leak somewhere. So I have not proven that you have a CSF leak. I just have strong indicators that you have CSF leak somewhere. And uh, given the way you present your symptoms and the case history, uh, I'm not the only one that's going to act as if you have a CSF leak. So that is definitely a current work, working diagnosis for anybody in this field. Uh, there's the Stanford study, uh, that data. Uh, there's the vertebral artery that's very dominant. Judge for yourself if, if you think it's pushing the brain stem in a little, a little bit. And you have that hypermobility, so it does drag across there uh, because of your hypermobility. Uh, we did, actually we didn't really show it to you, but you do have a, an injury of the uh, posterior atlanta occipital membrane that's calcified uh, on the right side. So that, when you bring your head back, that's not cool. It doesn't like that. Uh, uh, this is the arterial phase. Right, so we've got a, a dysautonomia going on here in a couple different locations. Uh, when we adjusted your hiatal hernia, you really did like that. Uh, you're able to breathe easier, that's nice. Uh, when you have those, it puts pressure on a lot of things and, uh, again, it causes like a dysautonomia. Now, here's another thing. We found that the hyoid is, uh, the right side of the hyoid is in between the internal and external carotid, uh, and that's, the carotid doesn't like there to be any pressure on there, and we found it close on both sides. So today, when we, we pulled that out, and we did find even when we put any pressure in there, you went weak, so then we, we pulled that out. And we see that with whiplashes where the anterior compartment contents will suck back, contract to the front of the neck. Uh, anything else anybody wants me to talk about that I might have missed? Okay. Uh, yeah, hypermobility, dentate ligament pulling the cord too much, left vertebral artery uh, is in play, especially with left head rotation. So the biggest symptom is uh, left head rotation. Everything gets worse. So it, we know there's a turbulence of cerebral spinal fluid. We know there's venous congestion that's more, that's worse when you turn your head to the left. Um, and the anatomy and is such that when you turn your head to the left versus turning to the right, completely different structures are compromised. So it's not the same at all. And I didn't really show that in this video, but believe me, there's a lot of little, little changes in there. Okay, this is the area you call the phenomena, the phenom. That's what she looks like. You, we've got great video of this thing bulging or throbbing and, and moving. 
and then we go the other way. You can see all this dilated collateral. And this started off as a super small vein through the skull. Now, what did we just do? We just picked up on the shoulder to see if that made her give her any more relief, and it triggered her to where she almost passed out. So it's. Oh. All right. So you can see how thin it gets in through there. Right there, there's the back of the clavicle. There's the other clavicle. You can see how it digs in there. So when we picked up her shoulder, she wanted to pass out. And it drives in there and makes that makes that real thin. You know what? I got a better shot right here. I'll remove the heart so you can see. Because I already saw this from a different angle. I already know it's there. There we go. That's the angle. Right in through there. You can see how it gets thin through there. And I've, we've actually seen that before with somebody else. Um, okay. That's what we wanted to show. Okay. Feel like you're being stared at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, there's really no direct eye contact, but I feel like I'm being stared at. Yeah, yeah. There is no direct eye contact going on right here, but it's still, still a little off putting. When we, uh, when we see you make an adjustment, that goes away. Mirror. <laughs> there, it's really. Bad.